Good morning, my loves. Welcome to another, let's call it foodie diary. What I eat in a weekend style video. I am so excited to say this video is very kindly sponsored by Joe Young and they've sent me life changing kitchen appliances. I have wanted an air fryer for the longest time and now I have one thanks to Joe Young. They sell really high quality kitchen appliances from air fryers to blenders. You can find them on Amazon. They're super popular for a reason. They've very kindly sent me three different appliances to play with. I have a soup maker, an air fryer and a grain maker. Joe Young have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys. Each product has its individual link and discount code that you can find in my description bar. And so that discount code will get you 5% off. Also worth mentioning, you can follow Joe Young's YouTube channel and TikTok account for recipe inspiration. Okay, so for breakfast, I am gonna make one of my favorite all-time breakfasts oatmeal but I have never used a grain cooker before especially I wouldn't think to use a grain cooker for oatmeal so I have the Jo Young grain cooker here it has all these different settings it can even be used as a slow cooker which is really cool so I just start with putting about a cup of oatmeal into the inner pot and then followed by some oatmeal I love how user-friendly this is because of the LED display features it also has a delay timer and a 12-hour warmer to help Help you get a warm dish when you need it. The non-stick inner pot is designed so that it's easy to clean and this cooked my oatmeal to perfection and this is such an easy way of preparing your rice or oatmeal. I then just topped it off with some of my favorite toppings. So we got raspberries, bananas, coconut shavings, some honey. Here it is! I have to say the consistency of the oatmeal has come out so much like, differently to when I make it. But let's see, just got coconut everywhere. Mm -hmm. I love oatmeal. Gym time. from shopping I actually took so much longer than I kind of anticipated we were pretty much there for like a majority of the day but it was so busy obviously because it's a weekend and successful though I am so tired now I think I'm flagging because I need some food so I'm gonna make dinner I'm gonna use the air fryer to make crispy tofu because I hear that if you use an air fryer tofu it works really well so we're gonna experiment and then probably make like a little salady thing I was so, so excited to use this. The air fryer comes with this little recipe booklet for meal inspiration, which is really nice. I found this so easy to use. The touchscreen makes it super beginner friendly. You can pick if you're making chicken, cupcakes, fries, and it'll set everything up for you. This heats up a lot faster than an oven as well, so it saves time. And it's just perfect if you're wanting to make healthy cooking easier. Okay, so I started with just pressing my tofu for about 15 minutes. I always do this, even if it's extra firm tofu. I then seasoned it with garlic powder I put in some soy sauce and a little trick to get this extra crunchier and more flavorsome is to actually coat it in nutritional yeast I then popped it into the air fryer and set the timer for about 15 minutes this was a guess because I've never done this before but spoiler alert they do come out nice and crunchy so it worked I recommend just literally keeping an eye on it I love how this air fryer has a little light so you can see inside how it's cooking I then started prepping the veggies for the salad I literally just used up whatever was left in my fridge it's the end of the week there wasn't much there but yeah this came together really well I have never had tofu come out this crunchy 
Okay, air fryer is the way if you're cooking tofu. I'm craving something sweet. Little healthier snack I have been loving recently is some dates with peanut butter. So what I do is make a little indent and then just stick a bit of peanut butter in. Mochi heard me say peanut butter. It's one of his favorite things. <laughs> Not for you, baby. And this is my little snack. That satisfies my sweet tooth. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Today's Sunday, just slower pace kind of day, huh? I went and got my nails done this morning. I forgot to film anything. I am just feeling so, so sleepy. And to be fair, it's because I haven't eaten anything yet. I really want to make some baked oats. I've not made them in ages and they're one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. But I'm going to use the air fryer to cook them. Doing it in an air fryer almost gives it an even more cake-like texture. Even though it's Sunday, a day of rest, I have so much work to catch up on. Not all that interesting to film, however, I am craving a snack. I'm gonna have a snack that I haven't had in ages and that is little like chickpea crisps. Looking crispy. It's a few hours later. I'm so hungry for a kiwi. Okay, so I've just been out to do a bit more shopping. But we're back now and it's time for some lunch. Sorry, this one is wanting to be part of the video. Yeah. I am gonna use the Joe Young soup maker. One of my favorite lunches to make is soup. They like a good red lentil soup or, or leek and potato. Those are my two favorites. But today we're gonna do red lentil with lots of veggies. It's just gonna be really yummy, warm in our tummies. It's raining this afternoon, so it's like the perfect heartwarming meal. Here she is, the soup maker slash blender slash just multifunctional goddess. You can choose if you want your soup chunky or smooth. Today I was feeling smooth and I was just so amazed by how this worked. It chopped it all up and heated it up so well in just 20 minutes. This is so versatile. I'm gonna be using the soup maker so much and not just for soup. Also, it has a juicer function, which sounds really cool and I'm excited to try. 
Okay, so I've just let the soup do its thing. I press the smooth button. Let's see. Ah, oh my God, we have soup. It's done a really good job of like, of blending it. So good. And there you have it. This is my quick but I want something yummy little pasta recipe made even quicker. Thanks to Jill Young Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been loving making more foodie content recently Remember to check out Jill Young with the link in my bio treat yourself to a new appliance spice up your kitchen a little bit And yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye